Gretna Green is a wedding location with a worldwide reputation. And today's nuptials have a distinctly international flavour. Franco and Jeanette have flown halfway around the world to tie the knot. I'm getting married in the morning. Ding dong, the bells are going to chime. Boom, boom. Catherine and Simon are questioning getting hitched Las Vegas style. I mean, is it, in my is own it way. really OTT? It's a little bit last minute to say, change it. And Jackie is worried that her all-American Elvis weddings might not be taken seriously. I am fearful that people will think that it's going to be a bit tacky and things, and that's not what I want at all. Our first couple who want an international flavour on their big day are Catherine and Simon from Derbyshire. I'd always said if I did get married, I'd like to do it in Vegas, but when we're seeing the opportunity for a Vegas-style wedding in Gretna Green, it's like perfect for us, it's the next best thing. They're heading to Gretna to become the first couple to be married by the King of Rock and Roll. I never in my wildest dreams... <laughs> she definitely would have ..thought I was ever going to get married by Elvis. But I suppose there was always a fear in the back of your mind that it might turn into a bit of a, an Elvis circus. Although Simon has his concerns, with the big day just three days away, he's trying to get into the spirit. Gar? Yeah? You want to see my wedding shoes? Yeah, let's have a look at you. My shoes for the wedding. <laughs> My blue suede shoes. They're nice, aren't they? Oh. Perhaps unsurprisingly, it's superfan Catherine who has the love affair with the king. It started really when I was maybe like 11, 12. My friends were into brass and I quite liked Elvis. <laughs> Mum said I used to talk about him as... No, don't, this is too embarrassing to say. You used to what? Talk about him as if I knew him. Oh, like he was one of your mates? Yes, I don't Me and know. Elvis are going, I'm going out, I'm going to see Elvis. That's, I'm embarrassed, I can oh, feel myself brilliant. getting warm saying that. Catherine and Simon's love affair started four years ago, when Simon was at a difficult stage in his life. If I carried on with the lifestyle I was living before, I couldn't be with Catherine, I couldn't be with anyone. Now, having turned his life around and with a new baby on the way, Simon feels he's ready for the commitment of marriage. I didn't really think I'd get married, but obviously I found the right person. <laughs> just clutching my arm. How about? <laughs> yeah, it's just showing the world that, yeah, this is us, we are, we're together, we're serious, we're staying together. It's not... It's not just a flash in the pan, is it? No. So... Especially with Baby on the way as well. Yeah. It just, like, cements everything it together, does, yeah. doesn't it? It does, Entrepreneur Jackie Hampson is the owner of the Las Vegas Chapel, which will be hosting Catherine and Simon's wedding. Recently, she's overseen a number of unsuccessful promotional stunts. Back to the drawing board. <laughs> However, after a year of trying, her Elvis wedding business may have finally turned the corner. My first one will happen. I am dead pleased. Can you tell? <laughs> Jackie is determined that Gretna's first ever Elvis wedding will be a suitably glamorous occasion. Why is Elvis stuck up there? I'm trying to bring a little bit of bling. It's an Elvis wedding at the end of the day, isn't it? I want to go all out to show people exactly what they can get. It's an Elvis wedding, you know what I mean? It's going to be um, showy. The day before the wedding, Jackie and her twin sister Pam are putting the final touches to the venue. I have to prove to everybody we're not daft. Too late for that. Yeah. <laughs> well, we've been getting the place ready for three years, so we've tried to do everything ourselves, so there's a lot riding on it, really. It's not my thing, this Jack, girly stuff. I don't want it to be a joke. We've put a lot of investment and everything into this, so it, it's not a joke, and it's got to work or I'm going to look a nutter. <laughs> Our second couple bringing an international flavour to their wedding day <laughs> are Italian stallion Franco and Scottish-born Jeanette, who live together in Australia. They've been together for 14 years, and Franco knows exactly how to keep their romance alive. 
I think what I like about Franco is the the traits that Italian men have. fresca. He's a very loving man. He he thinks from the heart. He speaks from the heart. He he does everything from the heart. Ursula poca poca. You know the best of it is, Franco. I don't know a bloody word you're singing to me. <laughs> For the first time he smiled, I said to him, do you know that you look like Dustin Hoffman when he was young? And he said, who's Dustin Hoffman? <laughs> For Franco, it's more than just Jeanette's smile that he finds attractive. I like your eyes, I, I like your face, I like your lips, I, li I, li I like everything about you. If I look into your eyes, I get lost. Yeah. I don't know where I am. Hurry mm. up. After 14 years together, Jeanette wanted to tie the knot in her <laughs> motherland. The first place I thought of was Gretna Green, because I, when I was a little girl, I used to think that'd be, that'd be so cool to just run away and get married. They may not have eloped, but Jeanette and Franco have flown in all the way from Australia. I'm getting married in the morning. Swing, swing. Ding dong, the bells are gonna chime. Boom, boom. <laughs> We've been singing that on the plane. <laughs> Even after a 35 hour journey, their grand tour to Gretna hasn't ended just yet. First, they take a train up to Scotland. Uh, did we wake you up, Franco? Then, after Jeanette's relatives have picked up their bags and left no room for them in their car. Okay then. Right, let's do the walk. All right. They're forced to continue their journey on foot with a three-mile road trip to their own wedding ceremony. Well, this is just a typical thing that they would do, is travel for 15 hours on a plane and then just step out to the countryside and walk to their wedding destination. <laughs> OK. OK, let's start again. Thank goodness we got here. I think we might have to get down to the very last thing that you have to do. What? I have to do? No. <laughs> well, last thing. No, that's tomorrow. <laughs> you have to wait. <laughs> you confused me for a moment, anyway. <laughs> Meanwhile, at Jackie's wedding chapel, her first Elvis-themed wedding is only a day away. Faster pastor and avid Elvis fan Sandy has heard about the upcoming nuptials. I love Elvis. I was kind of hoping that uh, Jackie would ask me, but I'm ready to step in and uh, take it. A qualified minister, Sandy also has aspirations as a performer and has been trying to impress Jackie with his singing ability. But so far, she's not been convinced. He's not, definitely not going to be an Elvis. Because I've heard it now, and it's not good. Today, it's Sandy's last chance to convince Jackie that he's the man to fill those blue suede shoes. Hello, hey, darling. How are you? How are you? Are you well? Good to see you. And you okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, not bad. Although Sandy will officiate over the legal vows, there's one thing he wants to do even more. What about, obviously, you know, a song? <laughs> Uh, from? From myself, obviously. Uh, no. I mean, I do kill it, Elvis. No. No? No. You're not singing. What about no. a proposition? No. What about wise no. men no. No. say... No, no, no. Oh, I'm going to spin you. I'm going to spin you out the door. <laughs> Just wait and see. Just wait and so see. Long. So long. See. Unfortunately for Sandy, it seems he'll have to stay away from the microphone and stick to his day job instead. He'll keep persisting, as he does. Yes. <laughs> Sandy has left the building for now. It's the morning of Catherine and Simon's Elvis-themed wedding. And final preparations are underway. It's all hands on deck, and that includes Paul Larkham, the Elvis impersonator hired by Jackie to perform at today's ceremony. I mean, any, any show that I do, you're on edge, because you, you want it to be right, don't you? But Nothing could go wrong now, it'd be all right. However, before the show gets underway, bridegroom Simon wants some final reassurance. Um, I just wanted to pop in, really, just to... Uh, just to make sure that it was all running in the way we wanted it to run um, and it wasn't too over the top. 
So I know you're a showman, I know you yeah. like to put on a show, but because there's only 15 of us... Yeah, yeah. I don't, know the word, I don't want to use the word ridicule. It's a little bit last minute to say, change it. Right. You know what I mean? Because okay. otherwise it'll look unprofessional. Is no it way. really OTT? Well, it or depends it what you like... think OTT is. Simon the groom's just turned up. And um, I think he's a bit worried that it's going to be... He, well, I, I don't know what's going on in his head. To change it this last minute, um, it's going to be pretty difficult, really. What's Groom saying, then? Oh, he was just concerned about the way it was going to run. He was worried, cos there's only a small yeah. crowd, that I was going to come out like I'm playing to Wembley. It was the last thing I wanted to do. I am fearful that people will think that it's going to be a bit OTT and a bit tacky and things, and that's not what I want at all. So it has made me a little bit kind of anxious now that uh, that it all go does go well. I can only see, can't I? <laughs> After finally making it to Gretna, groom Franco and best man Silvio have headed into town to try on their wedding outfits. Good evening. How are you? Yeah, very well. Yourself? Franco, we Thank had you. to pick up the kilt. Yes. The kilt is something completely alien to Italian stallion Franco. Oh, this is just garters. It's just goes around like that. This is a spawn. Now suited and booted, there's just one last age-old question that needs to be asked. What do I wear under the kilt, Walter? Yeah, if you had your own kilt, you probably wouldn't wear anything under it. OK. But in the, in the interest of hygiene with my kilt, I would prefer if you did. Don't worry, your, your, your kilt there will keep very hygiene. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no problem. No problem. No. <laughs> Meanwhile, Jeanette is also getting herself ready. Short, natural hair, easy. Oh! Goes the weasel. <laughs> and it's Italian. Wow! Oh, very good then. It must be good if it's Italian. After 14 years together, the time has finally come to tie the knot. And some people said, you know, why fix it if it ain't broke? But I want to be Mrs Martino. I love seeing Mrs. Martino. Back at the kilt shop, Franco's still asking questions. How you go to the toilet with the kilt? You sit or you stand? Well, stand, basically. And Just lift it up at the front. So you put this one on one side, and then you grab the kilt like this, take the horse out. <laughs> Shh. Yeah, very well. Like a true Scotsman. For Elvis superfan Catherine, it's almost time for her Las Vegas-style wedding. I didn't know if, I, if I'd ever get married, but the fact that I am now in Gretna in a Vegas-style Elvis wedding to Simon, is, it's, just a, it's just madness to me, but brilliant at the same time. I'm really excited now. I just really want to get there and see whatever's going off and uh, just, just get, get amongst it, really. Oh, I love you too, sweetheart. <laughs> On the other side of the hotel, Simon's steadying himself for the spectacle to come. It's important that it's the way she wants it to be. Because it's a wedding day. Here we are, an hour before we get wed, and it's all ready to go. Vegas is here. Actually, it's here. As the last-minute touches are being made, Faster Pastor Sandy arrives, and he's still a man on a mission. Hi, guys, how you doing? You OK? Last chance, Jax. No, Last chance no. for me to sing. No? Wow, what can I say? Professional on the job. Professional on the job. It's another rejection for Sandy. But for Elvis impersonator Paul, it's time to get into character. Oh, there he is. I have to open it slowly, cos they're like... It's his eyes, you know. It's a lot of work at every gig to do it. It's great for the show, but crap round Tesco. Everywhere you go. Uh-huh, uh-huh. 
Elvis, Elvis. Time to wake up. And while it's a big day for the bride and groom, it turns out it's also a big day for Paul. This is the first Elvis wedding I've ever done. Um, so hopefully, it'll be all right. <laughs> After a journey from the other side of the globe, Franco and Jeanette's romantic adventure has finally reached its destination. I, Jeanette. I, Jeanette. Take you, Marco. Franco. I, I don't want Marco. <laughs> no, no. Don't go for Marco. He was last week. Have a, have a, have a, have a Franco instead. Take you, Franco. To the exclusion of all others. For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. <laughs> Jeanette, I give you this ring, and I promise to love you. And be faithful and loyal to you always. And be faithful and loyal to you always. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> You're now husband and wife. Yay! Dreams. Oh, yeah. Uh, I married my dreams. <laughs> it's left a best man, Silvio, to answer that age old question. <laughs> it's a G string. <laughs> <laughs> After a year of waiting for her first booking and investing her life savings, it's finally time for Jackie's first Vegas-style wedding. I'm nervous. They're nervous. You know, I want it to be the best it can be. Hi, hey, hey, all right. Because this, this is our, our first one and really need it to go well. So we're just waiting for Catherine. And I'm sure she'll be here any minute. Luckily for Jackie, Catherine and her daughter Chloe are on their way. I really like this. Do you? Yeah, I feel dead posh. <laughs> With Las Vegas fever in the air, Gretna Green's first ever Elvis wedding is about to begin. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for the bride, the lovely Catherine. Musical introduction over, Paul, sorry, Elvis, takes centre stage. Today, Vegas has come to Gretna. Yay! That's right. Uh -huh. That's right. Uh -huh. You got it, sir. You got it. Now, uh, in some sort of Elvis currently stance, repeat after me, Catherine, I promise you, baby. I promise you, baby. To always love you tender. To always love you tender. I promise to be... Your hunker, hunker, burning love. A bit of hunker, hunker, baby. Right? <laughs> there you go. A bit of applause for Simon, ladies and gentlemen. After Elvis's oh, vows, yeah, it's yeah, left yeah. to wedding minister Sandy to legally complete proceedings. I never thought I would say this at a wedding. Thank you very much, Elvis. Thank you very much. So now, in the same way, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Congratulations, you make it friend. Um, it was perfect. It wasn't too over the top. It was just... I really enjoyed it. I thought yeah. it was great. Today has proven to anyone that it can be nice, it can be done, and it can be done with, with a bit of taste as well, you know, and uh, bring on the king to Gretna. Yeah, I like it. You know what I'm talking about, man. 
Months and months of preparation all come to the forefront today and I just think it's fantastic. I really, really enjoyed it. Yay! One down. Coming up next week, more weird and wonderful weddings. I don't think we'd ever have an ordinary no. wedding, would we? The struggle to put on a show-stopping promotional event. Bill, clean Bill! Let's put a big question mark over where it's going to happen. And some last-minute wedding day drama. You are going to turn off, aren't you?